I'm Dylan Campbell, this is Chasing Cars, and behind me is something a little bit different. We've got a hydrogen fuel cell BMW iX5. Today we're going to get behind the wheel and drive what could be the future of motoring. This car has a 295 kilowatt single electric motor in the rear, giving it rear wheel drive, and of course it has a hydrogen fuel cell. We're not going to give you a chemistry lesson here today, of course, but basically that means there's two onboard hydrogen fuel tanks with six kilograms of hydrogen, which goes into a fuel cell, which converts that into, of course, electricity, driving that single rear electric motor. The only byproduct is water vapor. That is distinctly different to a battery electric vehicle, which, of course, is powered by coal or renewable energy or something like that. The range of this particular car is around 500 kilometers, and one of its big advantages is it can be refueled in as little as three to four minutes, significantly less than a battery electric vehicle. Of course, the future looks to be battery electric vehicles, but that hasn't stopped brands like BMW, Toyota, and Hyundai continuing to invest in hydrogen fuel cells as a potential alternative, or at least a parallel means of propulsion to electric vehicles into the future. It's still some time before we might see viable hydrogen fuel cell cars around the same price as a battery electric vehicle, but BMW reckons they can make it happen, but not until well into the 2030s. Of course, one of the big question marks around hydrogen fuel cell vehicles is how do you refill them? At least with electric vehicles, there is an existing electricity grid, but to produce hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and make them mainstream, you need to build a whole new hydrogen refueling infrastructure, which would take a lot of money and a lot of time. This vehicle is one of two left-hand drive hydrogen fuel cell prototypes that have jetted into Australia doing a world tour. In this video, we're going to jump behind the wheel, give you some drive impressions of what it's like to drive a hydrogen fuel cell BMW iX5. Before we get started though, make sure to hit subscribe below. Chasing cars, honest reviews of your next car. Brought to you by Budget Direct. Okay, so here we are behind the wheel of the hydrogen powered BMW iX5. And first impressions are, it feels very much like an electric car. You start it up, it's completely quiet. You put it into drive and move away. It's very quiet and silent and smooth. And this having the 295 kilowatt rear electric motor has plenty of grunt. You put your foot down and there's plenty of thrust and the very unusual sound from the synthetic sort of soundtrack that you get in these electric BMWs. But for the most part, it just feels like an electric car, which is probably exactly how BMW would like it. And it's no bad thing that this just feels like a BMW electric car because BMW is currently making some of the best electric cars in the whole world right now, if not the best electric cars in the world. And yes, I'm even including Tesla in that sentence. They are very, very good. Now, even though this car runs on hydrogen, there's still a five kilowatt hour battery on board that can scavenge energy under brakes and redeploy it exactly like a hybrid. And behind the steering wheel here, there are paddles, which give you a couple of modes of regenerative braking. So it does drive exactly like a hybrid in that sense, take your foot off the gas with the car in the maximum regeneration braking mode, and it'll start to slow down like an EV. But I do love how much grunt this thing has. It's got plenty of grunt, and if the future, off into the distant future, is powered by hydrogen and it has as much power as this car does, I'm very much for it, that's for sure. And there's some sort of weird feeling knowing that you're putting your foot down and the only thing coming out the back of it is water vapor. That is very cool. Now, in terms of what this car is like as an everyday car, it's actually quite nice. It rides well, it's pretty quiet. Of course, it's nice and smooth and responsive from that electric motor. The refinement's really high. If you bought this and drove around in it, you'd be very happy. If there was a hydrogen refilling station near your house and you could plug it in and get three to four minutes of hydrogen and 500 kilometers of range in that time, you'd be laughing. This would be a very, very good vehicle to own, provided it costs the same as roughly an electric vehicle today or an internal combustion engine vehicle today, even better, and that the cost of hydrogen itself was comparable to petrol. But we're a long way off any of those things being a reality, unfortunately. Now, one thing you do notice when driving this hydrogen powered iX5 is the weight. BMW does make a point of it being lighter than an equivalent battery electric vehicle, but it still weighs 2,450 kilos or thereabouts, which is not very light. And you notice that in the corners, you notice that with its ride, 
the suspension's having to deal with all that weight. But given it weighs that much, it still handles pretty well and has a strong rear drive character, exactly like BMWs of old. But one of the most surprising things for me about the Hydrogen iX5 is that it's fun. It's fun to drive, it's got good power, sounds kind of cool with the Hans Zimmer soundtrack, exactly like BMW EVs. It has that rear drive character and it has plenty of response. It's, yeah, it's actually a surprisingly fun vehicle to drive. So if I had to deliver some sort of verdict from driving the Hydrogen BMW iX5, I'd say it's great. It just drives like an electric car and knowing that you can refill it in three to four minutes is really impressive. It's just such a pity that there's no hydrogen refilling infrastructure at all, really. There's only eight hydrogen refilling stations in all of Australia at present. We are nowhere near ready for a hydrogen future. It seems battery electric vehicles will be the next chapter of motoring, but who knows, maybe after that, there will be a hydrogen chapter. And if there is one, I can see it working. It would be a very good one. So while this hydrogen fuel cell vehicle is a good one, it still remains something of a sideshow as battery electric vehicles continue their world domination, which is a pity if you ask me. The other thing that's important to mention is this car just feels like a BMW i X5 or an X5 for that matter. Nothing special has had to be done to this car to make it into a hydrogen fuel cell car. It just looks and feels exactly like a normal BMW in the front seat here, the interior, the back seat, the boot, the hydrogen fuel tanks, they go in the transmission tunnel and where the fuel tank would be. And other than the hydrogen fuel cell architecture itself, this could be any other BMW. It feels ready to drive home and slot into your everyday life, which is a massive compliment. So it seems that the next chapter in motoring is very much still battery electric vehicles, but who knows, the one after that could be hydrogen fuel cells. And if it is, I think it could be a very good one. So there you have it, a very brief drive today of this hydrogen fuel cell BMW iX5 here at Lang Lang in Victoria. First thoughts are, it does drive very well, it just feels like an electric car, but that's no bad thing, despite there being a whole lot of other technology going on underneath. Other advantages imagined for hydrogen fuel cell cars are of course towing, you can refuel the car in three to four minutes, 500k range, and you're good to go. If you're towing a caravan, you can't quite do that with an electric car yet. Hydrogen fuel cell cars are also sort of simpler to produce than battery electric vehicles, which use a lot of rare earth minerals and the like in their batteries. And the last advantage of hydrogen fuel cell cars compared to electric cars is in very cold climates, there's no loss of range. Not that that matters that much here in Australia. But can we imagine a world where we're driving hydrogen fuel cell cars? Yes, we can, although there is a long, long, long way to go with hydrogen refueling infrastructure. So there you have it. That's my opinion on the BMW iX5 hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. Now, let us know in the comments below, can you imagine a future where we're driving hydrogen fuel cell cars instead of battery electric vehicles? While you're there, make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching Chasing Cars.